Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to just add to what I was saying earlier. Um, I had a little mishap. Um, my, you got to make sure that when you start your print, you home everything. Because I was trying to, even when you're trying to extrude, like my temperature raised up to 240 and I was trying to extrude some filament so I could, about, so I could get started. And, um, they didn't want to extrude. What it started doing was moving my Z-axis over, which made no sense. It didn't stop until it stopped at 10, because I was extruding at 5 millimeters, and it moved my Z-axis kind of over 5 millimeters. So it kind of messed some stuff up. Um, but uh, basically, for you, for it not to do that, just make sure you home everything. Just hit the home button, and... Your, everything will start working just fine. I think it just needs to be homed first before you try to even use in your extruder motor to extrude filament. So um, just make sure that you home everything. Right now I'm reheating again because I had to redo the tape over there in the corner and it even messed up my build tech a little bit. It kind of messed it up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a little upset about that but because it was brand new and I didn't want to mess it up already. But it's all the way in the corner, and it's not really that far of a mess up. It's just a little scrape, but I just, it's brand new, so I was just upset about it. But, um, what I was trying to say is just make sure you home everything. In a second, I'm going to extrude from my extruder to make sure that filament's coming out fine without any problems. I'll probably hit 8 millimeter length. I, I was going to try to do just five because I don't want to waste any more filament than I already am drilling these test prints. But um, with it rubbing up against my print bed like that, I could see it kind of trying to block my extruder hole. And that will that will actually clog it up. So I just want to make sure that a good flow is coming out without any problems. So I'm going to do that first and then... I'll get started on the printing. Alright, everybody, I got it heated up to a decent amount. It's at 240 at 100. Um, now, that's perfect because we have it set at 95 for the bed, so we don't need to worry about that. So, what I'm going to do now is just hit print. The file's already loaded, so all I got to do is just. Oh, wait, first. Let's just go ahead and home first. Home. You can see everything starts moving. It's homing. Let's make sure everything hits its end stops. That X, Y, and Z. The bottom bed, you see that little light all the way in the back? That's my end stop for my Y. This X is already lit up. You can see at the top right there that has a light on it. And then down there at the bottom, that's the C stop. And that's all I needed. So now we're going to hit print here. And in a second, it will say, see it says done heating and now it's going to say uh, ready or something like that. Just give it a second. Because it doesn't need to heat anymore. There it goes. Heating done. And then it will move over and do everything it needs to do. It'll tap a few times, then lift up, then I'll move over, and hopefully we got it dead center. I'm hoping. If not, I'll have to retweak it some more. A little filament comes and extrudes out before it starts to print. I don't really like that because it gets caught on stuff. But, I don't know, I'll have to go into code and fix that too. And I think that's the reason why I was making that weird, like, running over the corner part. Now I think I'm over too much when it comes to my uh, Z stop. I mean my X. Yeah, I moved over too much. I can already tell. I'm going to stop this print because there's no point. Okay. All you got to do is just press pause. And then hit uh, home again. And 
and that's that for that. And you see that it didn't fully print anything and not wasting any extra filament. So now I know that I'm over too much. That means I have to tweak that all over again. So I'm going to go back to this. The Y is fine. The X is over too much. So if 30... Five was where it was at before. For some reason, it moved over too much. So let's just do. I want to say 36. We'll just move it up an increment. And I disconnected the prompter face, so the board is still connected technically. So all I gotta do is just hit upload. And see down there is uploading. So this is one of those things you just have to keep testing. It doesn't look like my uh, Y is off. I'm going to double check that right now. Especially since I got to pull that filament off of the, t the print bed anyways. So let's see. I can't even pull it forward because I have to disconnect the board. See, it's not printing, but I disconnected it. So now it's trying to upload and do all this. Let's give it a sec while it finishes uploading, and then I'll be able to move. Because basically the Z motor, all the motors are still active. They're just set at their end positions. I just have to connect and then stop the motors okay so that's set okay hit connect and then hit motors off okay motor should be off where I can actually grab it there we go now I see the the Z doesn't look I mean the um why doesn't look too bad it may be off a little bit too. Maybe I should have just moved it a millimeter. I don't know just yet. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it back one millimeter. I'm gonna have to just do one millimeter increments. So let me disconnect here. And since this is at 40, let me do 39 instead. And then we'll go ahead and hit up upload again and while that's uploading I'm gonna go ahead and print um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my print off of that table and then once it's done uploading I'll go ahead and connect and try printing again I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video out and then show you guys that all right everybody I'm back um, I just set my print you know how I just reset my printer um, with the code and everything and brought brought it down a millimeter on each now, my X is still needing to go back one more millimeter. You can see it's just a little off. But that the Y axis is almost completely on point. You can actually see the line go down there directly into that center line right there, which is great. So, all I have to do now is fix my X axis, and then everything should be on center. So, I'm just going to move that down one more millimeter. But it's really, really close, so that's good. And this this printer, this print doesn't take much filament, and it only takes four minutes to print. But the only reason it's taking me so long is because every time I re-upload the code, like tweak how many degrees of like you know move it over a millimeter or four to millimeter or whatever, that code gets re-put into the 3D um, into my board. And then the board resets, and then it brings down the temperature. Then I have to bring the temperature back up to the temperature to print again. So that's why it takes actually. That's that's the process that actually takes a long time. See right now my my board is already losing degrees because the print's done. So it's at 78, 79, and you know so it's just it's lowering because there's no more printing going on. So even with that, I have to wait for the heater to heat back up. But so just give me a sec, I'm going to tweak the code, bring my x-axis down one more millimeter, and it should be directly on top of itself when it's done printing. So let me do that real fast.